Hello, I'm Adrian Clarkson, and this is Black Creek Pioneer Village. Here in this beautiful early Ontario setting, we're going to see some of the finest work of Ontario's furniture designers and fashion people. Among these are the 1967 Edie Award winners for fashion and the nominees for the Edie Awards for furniture design. We're also going to be talking to people from fashion, from furniture design, and representatives of the consumer in Ontario. In looking at style today, we hope to discover design for tomorrow. Assisting the Ontario Department of Economics and Development in an advisory capacity is Mrs. Lila Limburner, who is the chairman of the Women's Advisory Committee. Mrs. Limburner, could you please tell me a bit about the involvement of the Women's Advisory Committee with furniture and fashion design in Ontario? Well, it was the Women's Advisory Committee uh, that proposed to uh, the minister of our department the setting up of ED awards for design, uh, not necessarily naming uh, the fashion industry or furniture, but for industry in general. Uh, whatever industry the department might decide could best be served by offering this kind of competition. What are the criteria for the ED awards? Well, I, I suppose that perhaps people might think that furniture and uh, fashions don't particularly go together, but they do. Because, first of all, we look for originality of design in both of these. We look for the kind of materials that you use, whether they're suitable to the design. We look at the workmanship, how this is going to be produced, because we're concerned about the matter of the 75,000 new jobs that we have to have, many of them in industry every year. And then, too, we are trying very hard to get some foreign markets for our industries here in Ontario, and we look at whether or not the article is exportable. like this Mrs. Lindburner is talking about when she describes the tremendous impetus in Ontario's fashion industry. London and New York no longer have a monopoly on the swinging side of fashion. And when it comes to elegant craftsmanship, Ontario designers are meeting the standards set up by fashion buyers around the world.
have been told that as far as fashion is concerned, that workmanship in many instances is far better in Canada than elsewhere that um, fabrics that we use and the way they are used are comparable to the way they are used in any country, anywhere. And I'm sure that anyone who has seen the fashion shows that the manufacturers do for the conferences that we do would agree they're comparable to those that are to be found anywhere else in the world. Key to the success of Ontario design has been the tie-in between manufacturers and designers. I asked designer Jan Kuypers about this. Mr. Kuypers, you're a designer yourself. What do you think makes for good design? Product design is a very intimate relationship between a manufacturer and a designer, and uh, therefore you cannot conduct it on 2,000 miles uh, distance uh, uh, too easily. And uh, uh, also it is very closely rely uh, integrated in the economic situation of a country, which you have to know. And, uh, the, tech, the standard of technology of a country which you have to know and therefore we have a, a basically a very great advantage here um, as Canadian designers working in the Canadian scene. How will the ED Awards help in establishing Ontario furniture? I think uh, they will be one of the of the things, of uh, the exercises, which will focus the attention of uh, manufacturers on the need for design and get more designers involved in the process of developing new products and get, uh, get designers involved more deeply into the development of products. Uh, I think uh, in the office furniture field, uh, it has been proven that uh, a good involvement, a deep involvement of designers uh, it can be of a real advantage, uh, economic advantage, to the industry, both at home and abroad. I mean, the, the, the export of uh, office furniture is, is, is well, not perhaps as large as we would like it to be, but it is uh, very sizable. It has grown from almost nothing to a very substantial uh, proportion of the domestic production. And this helps. Uh, it, uh, it helps, uh, in the first place, the manufacturer. It helps also the, the, the domestic buyer because uh, with a larger volume of production he can get a better product at a lower price. Ontario government decided to expand the ED awards to cover furniture design, they asked manufacturers and designers, again working as teams, to submit sketches of their experimental work. The best of these were chosen in a preliminary contest and the makers were asked to submit a prototype. When these were assembled, they were judged by a panel of experts who awarded points on the basis of design, workmanship and saleability, both at home and in the export market. results, including these award winners, were announced early this year and showed that where fashion led the way, furniture wasn't far behind.
One of our leading manufacturers and designers of women's wear is Claire Haddad. Claire, you've been known for the fact that you've had fabulous success story. Sure, it wasn't all good luck. To have any measure of success in anything, one must have something that is badly needed on the market. And uh, we were very fortunate in that we had a very definite message to offer in our sleep and loungewear line. And uh, the whole idea was naturally to uh, make women more aware of what they should wear at home, that they should dress for their families and not just strangers. And this found a terrific response in women in Canada, did it? Yes, I think it did, obviously. It, uh, it seemed to, but it just happened at the right time. gone into the export and manufacturing business in a big way. Has anything particularly given your um, manufacturing business an impetus in the, in the way you've expanded? Um, yes, I would say that the um, trade missions have been very beneficial, and uh, this was under the auspices of the uh, Ontario Government Department of Economics and Development. They've just been fabulous as far as encouraging Canadian manufacturers to export their products. And um, here again, uh, individual designing is most important. But um, it has been wonderful because through that, you see, we've been able to export now to Australia and leading stores in New York, as well as many other major cities across the United States. It makes sense for Ontario industry to keep working on improved design, quality, and price. It's the only way to persuade consumers to help expand the economy by shopping Canadian. I think Ontario fashion stands now in terms of competition in the world market. I would say they'd stand a very good chance if they are very careful to do their own individual styling, um, be very careful about workmanship and quality, both in fabrics and in detail. And um, there's no reason on earth why any manufacturer in clothing or in furniture couldn't export to all parts of the world if they go after it. Okay.